Hi. Hello, Mami Song. Hello, May. Nice to meet you guys. OK. 所以我会讲英文, 然后会有笔译帮我们翻中文字幕, 对吗? 还是我讲中文, 你们翻英文呢? 应该是我讲英文, 你们, 英翻中, 好。Okay, this session is school, uh, Stop Schooling, Not Stop Learning. And our speakers come from Japan and Korea and also Taiwan. Um, okay, let's introduce the first speaker, uh, Mami-san. She is from Japan and she is a PhD student from Osaka University. And she is a, a community manager for, of Co for Japan, right? Hello, Mommy san say hi to everyone. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> and also, we have me from um, Korea, South Korea. And she is from Party. And she's going to um, share with us the um, uh, Not Normal Education Tech uh, project in Party, right? Say hi to everyone, me. Nice to meet you. Hello. <laughs> okay, and we have Beth here. And I think um, uh, lots of people know Beth. She is uh, Chief of Staff of Joseon uh, Workforce. So, hi, Beth. Introduce yourself. Hello, I'm Beth from uh, Gaozhou Joseon. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's start our first. Uh, session. Uh, so it's Mami Sang. It's going to share your experience from Japan, right? Okay. Hello, this is Miley from Code for Japan. I will share about EduTech in Japan, especially about Ochidejikomori class timetable for studying at home. We made this up during COVID 19 outbreak. We have relationship with civic techers in Taiwan, Hong Kong, and Korea. And this relationship cheered me up when I decided to start this project at the beginning of COVID-19 pandemic. Beth, me, and I shared the time during facing the ocean Tainan in 2019. And I joined school project with Beth Handring at Taipei in last winter. I was really inspired by them, and because of it, we can make Ochideji Kamari. This is a web application that enables teachers at elementary schools to send the plans of the lessons to their students who don't get to school due to for COVID-19. We have been developing this application in preparation for the second or third spike of COVID-19 inflections. This project is operated by volunteer engineering group. Most of them are university and high school students. I will introduce why we make it and how it works. From the end of February, school suddenly stopped because of the COVID-19 and long vacation came for children, their parents and teachers. The middle of May, the Ministry of Education stripped on YouTube. They said that they want elementary schools to get devices for every each student and they pushed for the teachers to reform the educational system drastically. But it's quite difficult for the schools to change by the sudden request. Only some schools which have enough budget can accept it. The digital divide is widening at lower income levels and countryside. So we thought that we should help students and teachers by using the power of civic tech. And now we are on the way to solve these issues. Many countries focus on the digitalized education and prepare devices for schools and each student. Children in most of other countries use more computers than before, 
but only Japan is the country that the number of the children who use PC is decreasing. It is strange, but the smartphones are the reason why it decreased. They are good consumers of videos and games, but they don't use it for study. So this is why they use smartphones instead of computers. Because teachers cannot prepare pieces for schools and students are not good at using computers, the Ministry of Education asked schools to make the plans and share it for students during the temporary closure. This is called Gakushu Keikakuhyo, Weekly Study Plans. Schools decided to share about the study plans by using papers for the students and parents in non digitized way. So some of the teachers bring the papers for every student's home every week. Some of them email to parents by making PDF. Others upload PDF on the school's website. But it is very hard for the students and parents to get information from PDF or papers. But even if we change it to fully digitalized, it is high cost, high risk. Only good for computer generated people and not good for others. Not all students have their own devices and not all teachers are familiar with digital devices or technologies. So, as we understand the situation in schools, it's truly difficult for and hard to change right way from not digitalized to fully digitalized. This goal is too far from the circumstance of many schools. We need a halfway point for digitalization of education. In this way, our project was born. This is the biggest feature. Oh, <laughs> wait a minute. How easy to use. Students don't have to make account registration nor sign in 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 order to check their schedule. They just enter the unique class ID, which is consists of six hiragana characters. This is very important point and I'll explain later. And our application is optimized for mobile phones since a number of students don't have their PCs, as I mentioned before, they, you can use their parents' phones or their own phones. The application can be used even if they are six or seven year old. I mean, first grade of elementary school. We use easy expressions and icons and use hiragana instead of kanji or alphabets. It most all the web services, the login ID is made up by alphabets. However, it may be difficult for small children to understand and use, so we choose instead hiragana. Another feature is UI internationalization. We collaborate with the Gavzer contributors. And now the application is almost fully localized to English and Taiwanese, so the people from abroad can use it. Thank you very much, Bess and Gavzer contributors. Last month, we went to elementary school and interview for students and teachers. Now students make weekly study plan on the app from the paper teachers made. 
they said that they want to change the color of the application and they want to decorate Ochideji Kanwari by themselves. Now, what can we do for new normal education? First, we need more open educational resources. Basically, there are very few online resources for elementary and junior high schools available in Japanese text. Open content culture such as wiki books, public domain, creative commons, and open licenses are hardly known, especially to educational industries. Secondary, avoid not all the students, parents, teachers can do this because the education in elementary school and junior high is compulsory. When Japanese people talk about compulsory education, we want to make it completely equal but we cannot make it completely equal. Just try it and make it better is more important than observe those regulations. On the contrary, we have to keep advancing even if it is little by little. Elder chief teacher easily said, nothing wrong, it's enough, it's okay. I don't want to change anything we cannot do IT things. Our mission is to change their mindset to, I can do it for now, so I can change some more. This year, we entered the beginning of the real digitalization for education with students, parents, and teachers. Let's make it better by using the power of civic tech. Thank you. Thank you, um, because uh, the, the video was finished, but I want to add some things. So I will share my screen. Wait a minute. Can you, sh is it okay? <laughs> Does it work? Okay, so the video finished but i want to tell you about one more thing and it's about civic tech challenge cup under 22. this year we organized the award which is called civic tech challenge cup and this is the logo of this event and it also made by the interns of code for japan Usually, university students join the interns during the long vacation in summer or winter to prepare job huntings. But this year, because of the COVID-19 inflections, they cannot move to Tokyo, and it means only the students living in Tokyo can join the in interns, but others from countryside cannot join in. When we developing Ojireji Kanwari class timetable for studying at home on Discord with interns, one of our interns of Code for Japan said, we don't have the chance to join interns and it makes us nervous. And this is how we start to make the long-term hackathon for students to learn how to work as a member of development team. More than 100 students applied, and many of them are from countryside. This is Civic Tech Challenge Cup under 22. This may shows the possibility of the project-based learning by using online way. Uh, we opened a web page on July and makes meetups and workshops for students. Some of the students apply after they made the group in the schools, but others apply personally. So we also help them to make team also on, on online meetings. The partners and sponsors help them as a mentors to improve their prototypes. And we have the final demo on, on October. And this is about CCC. And today, from 
one one thirty, one thirty. Uh, our interns from Call for Japan, Kota, will introduce about CCC under twenty two, and he bring the civic chart. Civic Chart is the champion of CCC and Takagi-san and others, other members from Civic Chat will join. So if you have time, please join this session after lunch. Yeah, so this is uh, about the CCC and I will finish my presentation. So sorry for my preparation <laughs> so can i move it to... thank you yeah thank you, thank you. <laughs> and uh i think i will explain something about ccc to the audience here uh uh,就是今天下午,呃,他们在COVID-Japan的实习生在一点半会分享他们在这个Civitech Challenge Cup的所做的专案,包括他们的冠军,那很欢迎下午大家在下午一点 Okay, then um, we will have um, me to share her experience in South Korea. Okay, please, me. I'm honored to be with you, Gabajero Summit, this session. Jintian, today in English, I would like to tell you about Aditac Korea and Batikub added activities after COVID-19 outbreak. Let's see, I will share my presentation slide. Kansiba, Jandama. Before we go any further, please allow to introduce Batikub. Uh, Batikub social cooperative of a democracy activist in Korea. We believe in new digital era, new citizen tendency. We have a chance to innovate democracy with digital technology. We focus on better and more democracy for our society based on open source and open data philosophy. You might feel difficult and unfamiliar to democracy activity and think democracy is uh, like a system and structure. However, you are digital era citizen. Digital era citizen tend to act democracy way. You can making a community fight, solve social problem by using a tag like a civic hacking data activity. Gabuzero community already act do the open source project about a social problem. Also, we can making a deliver a voice as a public sphere um, campaign. Policy decision making platform participation. Mm. Is the decision act bring a social change? New digital era, new citizen act. That party do democracy act with citizen and society as a new way. But they provide democracy platform as a infrastructure. The five platform groups and uh, the collab collaborative community platform campaigns, citizen lead campaign platform makes public sphere policy making platform, tunnel live decision-making platform, and the last one, data public, public interest data activism platform. All of them is open source. You can contribute, you can collaborate with us. Also, we make a toolkit about the public sphere, community building, um, campaign, tunnel meeting, data activism, so that everyone can participate and make it together. Those Toolkit is kind of the open source project guideline. Uh, that is what Bati do. And what I like to share today is a new normal activity experiment. Let me walk you through the, this. 
Yesterday, Korea students took a Korean SAT. COVID-19 was a spread again in Korea nowadays. For this test, all Korean high school students took online schooling for two weeks. That situation worries me. The test is more important than student healthy. I guess that the fundamental problem is that education system focus on schooling going to school so that the test took a place in school, physical school, even though it could put student in danger. After COVID-19 outbreak, we started to think about the education system and education tech differently. I knew that we have a similar difficulty and question about the schooling in Taiwan, Japan, and Korea. That is why we started this session, maybe. Back to early this year, at the moment, it was a difficult to determine when it would be safe to go to the school again. Until March, Korean Ministry of the Education made a decision uh, day by day whether open school, schooling or not. It was a confusing and difficult for the teachers, students, and parents. After they decide an online class to start, they make a guideline and the school state to inform an online schooling evaluation form, as you can see in the website. Also, education ministry support students to have a mobile device and mobile data use for online schooling. Korea online schooling platform from the late FAB government authority education uh, Korean Education Broadcast System, EBS, Expert Infrastructure Software Database Network, or EduTech developer form a giant task force team to prepare the online schooling for 3 million middle and high school students. The online schooling is postponed to the April, so the service opened 9th 9th April, the online schooling management system is based on the EBSE running system. As you can see here, is we can sign in the website as a, you go to the school. And uh, this is how government run online schooling system. Adutech in Korea were mostly private companies um, Edutech market is large in the children education and foreign language education. There are many e-running platforms. After the pandemic, widely used Edutech platform, uh, several things as, such as classing, classroom, high class. Those platforms were newly introduced in market. Interestingly, they were categorized in study management and learning management. Similar to study at home in Japan, it user and student parents, teachers put the notice and share information discussed in the platform. Uh, other service we use a lot after the outbreak is a Zoom, Google Classroom is a Microsoft team, Band and Kakaoto. It is also two of the communication. Mm. Interesting fact is uh, all of them platform were built based on communication needs. But the, uh, but the have a democracy activity with the platform and tech. Uh, there were demands around us. We face a demand for the edu activity as a communication with the students or teacher, uh, parents uh, is about uh, schooling, online schooling. We start a new normal activity experiment by using a platform and the communities. In the beginning, so we open the public sphere for social issue in new normal era. Online schooling public sphere. Uh, public, uh, public sphere in public sphere is various citizen 
uh, is together. Teachers, students, parents, youth center activists, youth tech work, uh, um, other tech worker, gathered online to share their online schooling experience and suggest their idea on how the education should be changed during the post COVID-19 era. Uh, we use the party tunnel to collect and deliver opinion and discuss up each other. In these meetups, we share the satisfaction level of the online schooling and difficulties and newly learned thing from this. As online schooling started, parents should be care of their children and gave a guideline their study. And teacher faced a increased overload. They have to prefer online class. They should be making a video clip and um, grading their students at homework. Still also struggle to follow online video class. Their video class is uh, one-way communication. It was not easy for them to understand difficult part and stay focused. Even though they have a difficulty, they are st st still satisfied that they could choose a time environment which they could focus the best. Interesting found that they are positive that Online schooling allowed them to share information on high quality and online class learn how to use various online tools. They are really satisfied of this. They discuss the questions, what should be kept when students go back to the school. Some, someone studied that in new normal era, students may be allowed not to go to school more flexible. As a bold suggestion, even when students are back to the school, is the education should take place is one, both online and offline and uh, to all. It is prepared for the, any disasters may we encounter. When we ask whether students should go back to school in May, most of participants response, online schooling it should be continued as a possibility exposures the virus. We opened the public sphere, sphere on online schooling and discuss a new normal education in COVID-19 era with the various citizens. They discuss the question also is university tuition refund public sphere. How was it year 22? Many call 22 is a lost year. University students the same. Their first semester is a lost one. University tuition fee in Korea is very high since most class took place in the online. Some raise their voice to claim the their tuition refund. To discuss this issue, university students, university work, work on related to the stakeholder open the public sphere on the party mix. Second one, activity community. Education tend to be considered as a combined teaching and learning by, we think learning by doing is a truly educational. We built a youth activities online community and support them to do, deal with their own issue and concern. Youth Punch, the, act, the youth social activist community, we organize with the beautiful foundation, it a place where youth around the nation can make their own voice, find their own issue. They colleague, they make, they find a colleague to their own project. We customize party groups and community platform and they are experience contribution and collaborate with each other to solve a social issue uh, such as uh, Jerry West face feminism 
uh, forest conservation. The youth activists held the online meetup and shared their all process as a open source project. And also they collaborated by using a wiki page like this. Mm. Mm, in school and education environments, some um, may suffer the syndrome, syndrome, a student syndrome. They are is passive and struggle alone and no question, no communication. In Korea, is that uh, the syndrome is commonly witnessed. So we thought that student may might need to be activists to experience their own project to help them learn their lives and society. That is why we launched the prototype of democracy activities, activist school. So we opened the Fatih Democracy Activist School. The participation is a youth is from Gogangju. They explore the democracy social issue and concern under the theme of a collaborative daily experiment. We followed those process with you the project and uh, we're making uh, our own experiment uh, and we're progressing. Uh, and last one is we could start uh, the Party mm, Democracy Activist School thanks to the learning community experiment that we are doing since early this year. The learning by doing cycle from the community lead us the edutech activities. Uh, during the spring and summer, we carry out with um, experiment studying hum humanity and anthropologies with alternative school and youth center. Thanks to the professor working in the alternative education in Korea, use from Haja production in Seoul, use Design Center in Gwangju, YC School in Jeju gather online. We use the various material to read the study era of COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, and many online tools we use it, Google Docs and Google Drive and Notion is June. We use it. The communication and collaborate or proceed in crowdsourcing and open source way. After the study season one, some uses gathered to prepare the se second season. They made a, their own group title Manjadan, try first try team in Korean. And they are trying to use the various platform tools and mill or Slack as Google Docs or Gym and plan to design their own learning project. So the second seasons of the study apart and together in UNOMO could be started thanks to them. And the youth build their own learning community to start their project and share their own voice and use in the non-traditional school system. Uh, they are express themselves they are alternative use and homeschooling use and out school use by themselves. They, the topic really varies from the discrimination uh, out of the school use and the sexual discrimination to the climate change. They want to live along to be elder, even though climate crisis uh, scale their lives. The whole process is open to the public. Last meetup is really good for us and really pleasure experience for us. As you use organized online meetup with a person they would like to meet. The shirt here woman at the bottom of the picture is the member of the National Assembly, Chang Hee Young. The other Zhang and use share their concern story in casual way and they deal with the sexual discrimination, climate change, isolation as a out of school use. Uh, they deal with that and all of them feel the sim sympathize 
sympathize toward each other and sing a song together. Uh, it was a really happy and a really touching experience to each other. So all people felt connected, even though event was held online. This is how Bhatti did the new normal experiment in 2020. Uh, we opened the public sphere and start the community for the social activists. We organize learning by doing educational experiment. As a wrap up, I would like to share with you, you as what I've learned, especially is working in the EduTech and Civita. I come up with the insight through the new normal, normal experiment. Uh, digital and data literacy is essential in new normal era. Communicating each other is a matter. Communications while we are concerned about the literacy for the better lives can give a great satisfaction. As a social activity a community, we can collaborate and do project-based learning for education. We are convinced that AI culture and open source project, which are strengths in the civic hacking ed tech project. As a gift, and gift this lesson in our mind, but they may collaborate with the YWC next year and start new EduTech project in Code for Korea. But the ourselves will continue on new normal experiment. Mm. Uh, I will keep you post. <laughs> Thank you for listening and thank you for taking your time out of your busy schedule. <laughs> thank you. Xie xie. Thank you, me. You girls in, in South Korea did a lot of things. You, I think you stopped uh, going to office but not stop working at all. Okay, then we'll have best to share our experience uh, in Taiwan. Okay, please, best. Oh, hello. Oh, I'm best. Uh, I would like to share like uh, what we did this year uh, for school project. So uh, you must know that uh, COVID-19 is not changing so much things in Taiwan. So I, I um, as you can see, so we are now ho we we are now host summit at a <laughs> such a big venue <laughs> with lots of people. <laughs> yeah, so. In Taiwan, people pre prefer all methods in street new normal. So people won't change if uh, they, they don't need. So EdTech still need more changing points. So I'm happy for uh, friends from Japan and Korea could uh, co-work with us. So bring, some, bring us some uh, different experience to us. Okay, so uh, I'm based from Gavzo Joseon and and uh, Gavzio Joson is the tax force for of uh, Gavzio bi monthly hackathon and infra zone for um, Gavzio's TW's uh, infrastructures and civic tech prototype grants and school projects. Uh, we are now, uh, we are uh, a actually, we are not a p professional for education. So actually we learn a lot from this project and we, we will keep doing this with our open source community. So um, the Joseon organizers started organizing the Gavzio Hackathon since 2012 and 
and officially formed the Zhou Song team in 2014. So we, uh, the Gavsil Hackathon, as uh, Isabel mentioned, we are the first civil hack hackathon at Taiwan. And yeah. So uh, based on the uh, experience of Gavsil Hackathon, we did a lot of projects to uh, help uh, people in community to uh, to to do uh, a, a lot of different projects in this com community, and they could co-work together. And from 2016, we have uh, Civitech prototype grants to uh, encourage uh, government projects to continue uh, its development and uh, long-term maintenance and uh, operations. So we could, uh, because in government community, a lot of people uh, is volunteers, so we need to uh, we need to put push them with, with some uh, resources. Okay, so okay, so some projects become influential projects like COFET and Taiwan Water Guide and U.S. Taiwan Watch. I I just I just knew this week that uh, Taiwan is. In, in the fact check, fail is very uh, pioneer in this world. I don't know if this is fat or not. <laughs> Maybe we need to we need to fact check with uh, COVID COVID thing. I, I, I see they they are sitting it there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So um, how about education? So in in, in 2019 we launched a school project. So uh, because we see, like, uh, over the past eight years, there were uh, 55 educational projects at Gulf Zero Hackathon. It's almost like 10% um, of our uh, Hackathon proposals. But it's very hard to maintain educational projects. Before a uh, school project was launched, uh, there was only uh, a maze, a uh, more edition array, Coming to Gabriel Hackson, oh, they will uh, they will share their experience this afternoon. Yeah, so so uh, so in this community, I think we we have a lot of uh, talented people in this community. So we want to uh, launch it a uh, project to to encourage a lot of pe a lot of people to. Uh, for uh, learning from open source community. So at the be beginning of this project, I think the co-work method is very important to maintaining a community. So I set up the goals on, of this project to help educate, uh, to help ed tech community to learn from uh, open source community. Actually, they could, uh, they could learn from each other. Like, open source community learn from uh, education community and com uh, education community can learn from uh, open source community so we can learn from each other. So uh, this is the strategy of uh, our method. We invite educators and students from educational field. They maybe they could bring some questions and be the pit owner at Gavsil Hackson. We we say the uh, project uh, owner is a pit owner, like a pit <laughs> there, like yeah. Okay. So um, so I have these uh, pictures for uh, our um, our ecosystem, like uh, we have a Gavsil. Gavsil ad tech ecosystem now. So in community, we have school project, and in open data project, we have like uh, more dictionary and I E and Chui Da E and uh, um, Common Voice and uh, uh, Chepa for high school students and uh, Zhou Song Online and Co Teach and Dao Dao Online, a learning platform and happiness bandbook. So we have a lot of like uh, projects to to uh, co-work uh, within this community. So we, w I think it's uh, eco it, it is an ecosystem. 
So uh, how we how how do we de develop an eco uh, education ecosystem? We have uh, three key words like seeding and incubating, incubation and accel acceleration. So first, uh, we develop the ATEC uh, community based on uh, Gavsil Hexon. Uh, Gavsil Hexon is the accelerator of uh, Gavsil community. Uh, people meet at Gavsil Hexon bi-monthly and co-work for a lot of uh, new ideas and new and projects. And second, we learn from each other with all uh, process recorded in documents, photos, and videos. And this August, we choose some potential projects and help them to uh, be be a better uh, project. Hope hope they could uh, keep forward with uh, Gavzio community. So if if you came earlier this morning, uh, maybe you c you have already participated in their sessions. And it doesn't matter if you have haven't joined. All awarded projects are all open source on uh, school school dot uh, gavzio dot tw. And finally, I would like to give you more about uh, school 2021. Yes, we, we are o o almost finished uh, 2020. <laughs> so it's a very hard year for EdTech and uh, the whole world. Right? So we are very uh, glad to, uh, to have uh, three new key words of uh, school 2021, like, uh, like, uh, in, like learning with a new generation and learning from open source project and learning at local community. Okay, so we, we want to uh, share more experience to the new generation. As you can see, we have a lot of um, high school students, but we, s we have, we also have uh, maybe junior high school student or from elementary school. So we could share our experience to them. And also, we want to invite uh, more senior contributors to share experience. In Gavzio community, we have some uh, classic project that could make change. So, uh, and their uh, technology is not so difficult. So it could be our uh, teaching materials for a uh, workshop. For example, we could use a uh, mask map to teach uh, wise data and was what is uh, API. And there's final keywords is learning at uh, local community. I, uh, this year I visited some educational organizations, organizations and unfortunately uh, because of uh, uh, tremendous change this year, so we haven't had many opportunities for uh, cooperation. So I hope that uh, there will be more opportunities for cooperation next year, such as um, holding workshops in more places. And maybe uh, we could um, have some uh, class in a school. So uh, if you have any, <laughs> if you are interested, please contact us to more uh, collaboration. And and what's next? Uh, please join our Gavdio Slack Slack uh, EDU channel to to co-work with us. And please come to uh, next Gavdio Hackathon or uh, School Workshop next year. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Bess. Okay. Then. Um, I think we will have a discussion among the speakers. So first, and then we will have, um, we will look at the um, slidos to answer some questions from the slidos. So first, 
Um, Mami san and me, do you have any question for to each other and Beth? Okay. Because uh, we yes. talked a lot before, so maybe okay. <laughs> we know about each other, I think. No? No, then I have a lot of questions for you, girls. <laughs> I think um, project based uh, learning is very important and is very effective. And um, I think um, all of your experience. Uh, share that um, you have the experiences in project learning. So the first question is, um, can you share more details about your projects? Like how many people in your projects? How do you run it? And um, what's um, the most uh, difficult things to do when you go through the whole process? So maybe me can answer my question first. Then Mami Sung and the best. Okay. In Korea, there are a lot of cases. So, <laughs> is that <laughs> maybe just yeah. one case? Maybe one case. Yeah. Uh, Choose the one. last one is uh, learning community experiment. Is uh -huh. uh, thirty people? Oh, oh, okay. uh, is over the thirty people is uh, gather, mm -hmm. and uh, we do the from the spring to the summer, then is we, we prefer the summer for the summer, then the fall seasons and the autumn seasons, we do the second seasons. So they are the out of the school students, alternative school students, and some people is a drop out of oh, school okay. and mm -hmm. they do the, their volunteer work and they is a part time job. Mm -hmm. And so they making their own life. So very interesting uh, for us. Actually, is that they always said, even though I don't want to go to the schooling, but they want to learning. Mm -hmm. So they, in an online way, they do the making an online commu uh, learning community and do a lot of things. Actually, in detail, I don't explain to you. So they do the playing and they draw together. The thirty person is draw together mm -hmm. using a Google devices, and uh, we can making us uh, some exercising together and playing together mm -hmm. and singing together, and we can make a campaign and design together. And the public spheres like uh, is Korea Assembly woman is we map it, oh. is we discuss about out of the school use matter and. Mm -hmm. So it is really good for me and it is really good experience to the youth and the school teacher and the youth center activists. So everyone is really satisfied of mm -hmm. the learning community uh, case and they always thinking, so we are the community. We learning mm -hmm. community mm -hmm. in the online, but mm -hmm. they always said, I want to I want to meet face to face, but it's a coronavirus is spread. We cannot. So they always said that, but this we do the activists in the online way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think the community is very, very important. Like mm -hmm. we are all encouraged and empowered in the FTO community. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. So yeah. food and beer is important. <laughs> yes, they, they okay. really like uh, tea and coffee yeah, and drink uh -huh. something. Is uh, they're yes. the, under the eighteen, so that's uh, why they <laughs> cannot drink. Not <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, okay. mommy san can you share your experience? Yes. Uh, before I talk about the edutech, mm -hmm. uh, I will share about the code for Japan. Mm -hmm. uh, before COVID-19, we uh, we, uh, we have maybe four, 400 people on Slack. But after COVID-19, now we have more than 4,000 in Slack. So <laughs> 10 times. Ten so times. the situation around the civic tech in Japan is totally dif dif different oh. from the before. Oh. So, so many people joined the uh, edutech things. But 
uh, when I talk about this application, I mean, uh, Oji Kanwari, maybe core member of this application is only 12 or 13 people. Mm -hmm. And half of them are university students and high school students. So the student, the engineers, uh, really helps our applications. Mm -hmm. And uh, more than 100 people who wants to join the EduTech things. Mm -hmm. So the public channel, we have more than 100 people in mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. And we have two or three projects. Mm -hmm. So Ochidef Chikamori is one of that. Mm -hmm. So there are some other projects that mm -hmm. we have. And uh, one, the another point is how it's difficult, right? Yeah, yeah. What's the most difficult? <laughs> yeah. So when we start this project, so many teachers and parents join the Slack, and they they bring so many requests. So some of them we use Google's Google Suits. So. You, uh, we want to suit it for Google Suit, and some have said that we use Ma Microsoft, and others said that they we, they we, they use others. And uh, but half of them have no no devices and no software, so we cannot decide what 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 way is good for <laughs> us to make. Uh, so first thing that we decide is that. We focus on the people who don't have devices and who cannot use the expensive softwares. Mm -hmm. So that's why we made Ojideji Kanwari. But before we decide that theme, I mean that, that we have to suit for the people who don't have any ways to mm -hmm. do. We have so many requests and we have to think so many things. So it was very difficult for us to decide. Mm. But so, it, uh, mm -hmm. Sorry. So, um, so the engineer in your project are most of them are students. Uh, yes. Okay. So who is the project, uh, project manager of the project? You or uh, some, <laughs> someone else? Uh, the intern from Hokkaido and I handle the project, but okay. I really, <laughs> I don't know, he really helps me, so. <laughs> so most of the collaboration are, um, are done bond, well, happened online, right? Because yeah. there has no chance to meet each other. To meet each yes. other. Okay. Because every intern mm -hmm. Uh, started the interns from April. Uh, no, maybe M M March or April. So we never met before, uh -huh. and still we have online relationships. So uh -huh. the CCC under twenty two final demo was the time that we met, but it was the first time and it was the last <laughs> for uh <-huh>. us. <laughs> Okay, that's great. I really hope next uh, summit we can invite um, students from CCC to come to Taiwan so we can collaborate together. Yeah. And, um, yeah. I hope to bring next time. Yeah. Okay, so that's uh, how many people <laughs> in your projects <laughs> and what's the most difficult things? How many? Uh, how many people in our project? Like, like the organizer staff, Joe Song. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> then that's ten. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And um, how, how how what's difficult? I think uh, the most difficult part is education itself. <laughs> because I I I'm the person that very hate 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 school before. So I I. I always, I, I could always questioning about what is education and what it could bring us. So I, I could, uh, I could have a lot of question with some uh, education uh, questions, and maybe we could uh, have some solutions for these 
uh, question Be because because I think the a lot of questions still still there and people cannot change it. So uh, if you if we want to uh, have a school school project and what can we do in this project? So I think the most difficult is like how can we love school <laughs> and how how can we uh, self love question in school. Okay, I think um, um, Beth did a lot of um, um, a lot of efforts to run the project. It's, she's very cool. <laughs> I spent a lot of time to talk to teachers, to students, and um, the people working in the community. So yeah, but we will continue the projects. Hope so. Yeah, <laughs> because I think a project based learning is very important, and which can. Um, help a lot of students know the real, the um, the most uh, efficient way to to learn. So then we are going to look at the slides uh, and answer the questions from the audience here. And the first one is for all speakers. Do you think the new tools will change the teaching way in the future? or school teachers will still love the traditional way in teaching. How do you think the teachers will do in your country? I think it may be different. How about uh, me answer first? Uh, some teachers are really interested to online schooling. And it's, uh, some people is feel stressful and uh, tired from the online schooling and the new tool and technical things. Eh? But I think actually COVID-19 make us change. <laughs> As of uh, facing the disasters, we should need to change teaching way and communication style in school. So as a uh, digital transportation, transformation and online learning, so Mm, I think it's a new tool cannot change the education culture and systems. Mm -hmm. We should decide that education culture and system about online schooling. Mm -hmm. uh, so from the, this online schooling and the COVID-19, after COVID-19 outbreak, we experience a different education activities and culture. So it could be caused a different way. And uh, in our online schooling public sphere, it, someone said that maybe in New Normal Era, students cannot uh, need uh, don't need to go to school. It's, it's kind of a flexible way we can go to school. Uh, so one suggestion is uh, even we go back to the schools, they want to take a place both ways, online and offline. Mm -hmm. So. If you, if Korean Minister of Education and all uh, education field people expert want should be decided a different way, then we can making a change and we can do the use a new tool. Mm. And yeah, mommy sang. <laughs> Uh, so, I told you a lot of bad things happened in Japan in my presentation, <laughs> but some of the teachers try to use VL, AL, and other new tools for students, but of course some of them still love that traditional way. Uh, but this year, everyone, everyone in Korea teachers feels that we have to use online tools more to survive. And students already knows that YouTube and Netflix are more attractive than the, the online things that the teachers made. So uh, maybe uh, we can change more when the civic techers and citizens really push the Ministry of Education and schools. And in Japan, uh, the principal of the each school have the power 
<laughs> so if the parents can push the principal of the school, maybe we can change little by little. And when we change the city side, the local side will follow the city side. So we can change from the from our area to spread it. So so just we have to push. And I think that we can do by using the civic tech, I think. Mm -hmm. Yes. OK, Beth. Uh, as I mentioned in my presentation, like people always love all methods to, <laughs> <laughs> to do everything. So uh, actually, uh, Especially in Taiwan, like you know that we we are very normal <laughs> now. There's no new normal here. Yeah. So <laughs> we have only we have only old normal. So I would say, um, that uh, the bad thing may not turn out to be a good result. Like uh, I think a pandemic um, will transform the society very rapidly, especially in education. So I think the, um, the people in Japan and the teachers in Japan and the South Korea may are more willing to embrace the new tools. I suspect that. Yeah, yeah I just I just re realized that because uh, Taiwan is very uh, good at uh, hardware mm -hmm. uh, industrial. So so a lot of a lot of ad tech uh, company in Taiwan they they prefer. Uh, do uh, the hardware ad tech things first, and then and develop the 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 software inside. So I think it's we need to like we need to do more like software of uh, open source. Yeah, definitely. Yes. Okay. Then we will have another question. Uh, how do you keep people motivated? to contribute to this open source mission. Are you a members of Open Self Motivated or are there or organizers efforts? Yeah, who is going to answer the question? Okay, maybe Bass first. I think you have good answers for this. <laughs> how, how we motivate to uh Mm, uh, I think uh, in Gaozhou community, like we have a lot of on um, different way, different ways to encourage people to join us. So like, mm, like food or fun. Yeah, I think that's pizza. Like we always, <laughs> we always want to like make things different. So actually, we we want to like host event and host hackathon difference. So, so like this year, we have a lot of hackathons, like Gaussian hackathons and presidential hackathons and NASA hackathons. We did every hackathon in different ways. So we keep trying different ways to to push ourselves <laughs> to the <laughs> limits <laughs> and make ourselves very tired. <laughs> yeah, and, and push ourselves and push people to join us. Yeah. Yeah, I think um I think um we need there will be organizers to maintain the momentum in the community. And uh, there's Need um, it needs organizers to like Joe Song, the facilitators to organize Hackson every two months regularly. If they stop once or twice, and people will just think, oh, they are not so serious about this, and they will think, oh, I cannot, I, I, I would not join this time. Maybe next time. But when you see some people doing this, oh, uh, um, very. Uh, with discipline, then you will be um, empowered and inspired. That you can, yeah, you can just uh, uh, go with them, and uh, you will think, yeah, I can belong. I can become part of this community. And of, of course, the food and food and the people here are very attractive. And uh, we are trying to facilitate uh, uh, community members, like we provide. Uh, uh, venues for small uh, for small hackathons in MPO hub in Taipei, 
and uh, we try to invite people from uh, different cities. Like we go, we went to, we came to China to hold, to hold um, the the hackathon last year. So we have this event today in China again. So we try different ways, right? And we have very good uh, people to work together. And I think the collaboration uh, is very attractive and we, you will feel really good about this when you think, well, when the problem is solved. And uh, can you mommy some share your experience? <laughs> okay. So, uh, because we copied Governor Johnson to call for Japan and we call Social Hack Day. And when we, when we faced to COVID-19, uh, we, we held the hackathon every month. Before that, uh, once or twice, two months, but we doubled it. So in March and April, so many people joined, but now the number of people are decreasing. So it's difficult for us to keep the, keep their motivation. So maybe food and beer and sake is very important for us to keep. But uh, when I talk about this application, uh, I, I have the online meeting with the children in June after we, after we launched version zero. At that time, we, we record the interviews and when the contributors watch the interviews video, they really motivate motivated because they they know that the thing that they made are help, very helpful for the children. Mm -hmm. So when we when we can met when we can meet to the users, the real users, mm -hmm. uh, the it's it's a big motivation mm -hmm. because we can drink and have eat anymore so so this is very important for us to know about what's going on in a real situation mm -hmm. like, yeah. yeah yes yes that's really important yes mm -hmm. and uh, uh me can you share something in ah. korea with us yeah it's a similar to taiwan and japan is uh, i i'm a member of the code for korea and an awful so it's a similar situation happen we, see, we always facing the ocean waving and waving yeah. and thunder is we have a heat and the fever and then is slowly slowly <laughs> and fever is down so is we have some period is, uh, at this new normal activities is i just feel that we should feel the connection each other mm -hmm. and we understand everything each other mm -hmm. so and in these projects we can freely to contribution and talking anything and share anything as a community it is a matter for us mm -hmm. so i always give a vision and i always say compliment oh you good job good job and then and so they do the collaborative open source project and they making a culture and you guys are making a new normal way activities as a city kicker i just give a vision and compliment for them uh, it is a really a matter for them also so we gather we can have a bond each other so i guess is mm, is a facing facing the ocean is a mid and half is a, we a title as a mid and half is a we uh, person to person we meet and we have a relationship mm -hmm. and the hacking as an open source project mm -hmm. so we should matter about is a relationship mm -hmm. and we just uh, compliment and welcome into the contribution and even though they are developer uh, if, even the developer or design is a background is a various is everyone can welcoming is attitude is really important for us mm -hmm. so yeah mm. yes thank yes. you <laughs> thank you yeah relationship is very important in the community yeah okay Th 
I think it is uh, it's already over, uh, past 12, so we are going for lunch. And uh, thank you, me and mommy son. And uh, hope we can meet in person very soon. <laughs> thank oh. you. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.